What? What happened? What? As we come to May 12, Sunday, what happened? Did Aoi realize the truth? What? Sunday morning. Surprised by the sudden voice, I forced myself to awake. Okay, what's going on here? So, and I don't think it's Aoi san finding out our, about our relationship, but. After opening my eyes, I find Aoi san standing in my room while wearing a shocked expression on her face. Um, you're seeing me naked again? Or is it half naked? <laughs> uh, Aoi san? It, huh? Having a strange, uncomfortable feeling, I shift my gaze. And there is Konami. Yeah, I mean, hey, are we? I mean, we're just like, you no, know, it's back into our childhood days. She's just sleeping with me, me, you know, are we? Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Konami? Astonished, I direct my gaze to the other side and there. And Tina's even there too. Oh yeah, did I remember Tina and uh, Konami saying that she want they want to sleep with Yuma, right on the same bed last night. <laughs> yeah, Tina, but Yuma doesn't remember. <laughs> what? They're my babies. <laughs> well, um. You know this is um just when Titi's two managed to slip in. Come to think of it, some time ago I found myself in a very similar situation. I think. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Aoi did say, "Hey, why didn't you call me? I want to sleep with you all. You never asked me. <laughs> Invite me." What? Aoi san? Um, Awisa, there's no space for you. <laughs> You're gonna feel uncomfortable sleeping like this. <laughs> uh... <laughs> okay, so at least he doesn't know about you know, our relationship yet. In a bit that is designed for only one person, there's a family of four people tightly squeezed together. How did he come to this? I don't know. <laughs> Good thing Tina is there though, because if only Konami is there, then yeah, it would be suspicious. Uh, last time I guess you could really say that we left you out, but today before I realized... Yeah, I mean, it's not me who left you out, it's these two girls who left you out. <laughs> before I realized it, they were already here. Since I just woke up, it's only now that I've become privy to this situation. So I can't come up with a better explanation than this. A bit strange? Strange? What do you mean? Oh shit, we're gonna be late! Oh yeah, but it, it's Sunday, isn't it? Or what? Eh? Ah, that's true. Showing a glance at the clock, I noticed that it's already past 10 o'clock. Maybe the date yesterday wore me out more than I thought. I slept pretty quite late today. It's Sunday, right? So it's okay. And they ended up sleeping with me. Ah, oh, I see now. <laughs> I see. And then these two raiders were ensnared by my bed instead. Huh. Sorry for the extra trouble. In that case, I'll get up now. Um, you want to sleep with us? <laughs> Until what time though? You have to prepare lunch, you know? <laughs> hey? Uh, um, are we son? Now? <laughs> um, I thought you came to wake me up. Wait, does Aoi really sleep that easily? <laughs> Seriously, Aoi? <laughs> but then again, Aoi did like have a uh, sleep, did sleep together with Tina, right? So, yeah, I mean, earlier they suggested to sleep together. Mm. 
Right after declaring that, Aoi-san is miraculously already in deep sleep. Um... Aoi-san? Alright, might as well sleep with them. Until I don't know what time. <laughs> but what about lunch? Hey, Konami. Okay, let's try calling Tina. <laughs> Tina? Yeah, you know, you might like, just go to sleep. So what am I supposed to do now? Just go to sleep. <laughs> Konami, who's sleeping right next to me, is hugging my arm while pressing her body, body against me. This soft sensation makes me recall what happened when we went home yesterday, and what happened in the bath the other day. As a result, accompanied by the sensation of blood amassing at the center of my body, my morning glory begins to manifest. Oh, your morning glory, I see. <laughs> yeah, can't be stick, really. Give me a break. Accompanied by a bit of self-loathing, I've quietly closed my eyes to prevent myself from having any more needless thoughts. Yeah, just go to sleep. So... Why did the two of you sleep in my room? <laughs> two hours after forcefully putting myself back to sleep, I'm questioning Konami, who finally woke up, about what occurred earlier. <laughs> Were you the first one magnetically drawn in, then uh, Tina followed suit? <laughs> wow, I don't even have words. I throw a quick glance at Tina, who's cheerfully watching the noon program together with Aoi-san. Okay, at least we like, slept for another two more hours. <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> we should go on camp someday. <laughs> I think a camp is even better. We can squeeze together in the in the tent. <laughs> I'm struck by the urge to inform her that there's also a certain guy who was far from feeling any semblance of soothing and had to force himself to sleep. Okay, he doesn't feel comfortable. However, the current situation is actually quite convenient, so I keep quiet. Yeah, because at least it, I'm not sleeping alone with you. He, uh, with uh, with Konami, that's the most important thing. No misunderstandings. So far, so good. It means the two of us should be able to calmly talk on the second floor for a while. Let's go to my room, Konami. <laughs> How about yeah? We're gonna do it. And, no, no. <laughs> You've been sleeping there just now, you know. With my head starting to hurt a little, I climb up to the second floor with Konami. Seriously, we, are, we can't have her get suspicious of us just yet. You better hold back on things like that, alright? I mean, good thing Tina was smart enough to join in with, you know, with Konami and me. Otherwise, you know, we, we would have been that bastard. Well, judging by Aoi-san's reaction, it seems to have been alright this time. Well, yeah, but still, you know, it's better to take precautions. I tried to object to her statement, but what she said was actually perfectly sound, leaving me unable to come up with anything to refuse her, or rather refute her. Hmm, okay. You mean like when we suddenly let go of each other's hand? Uh, well, I guess you're right. Unnatural behavior because we're too conscious of it has a high chance of giving rise to suspicion. Oh yeah, that's true too. That was probably the same effect that was portrayed during lunch break the day before yesterday. If we ignore the fact that we're actually a couple, no, even if we don't, as long as we keep it within reasonable bounds, it's alright to not hold back. 
sorry. It's just as you said. Yeah, let's be careful without being too careful. Right. I might have been overdoing it a little. <laughs> what what make out with me more? Could it be that that's your real intention? <laughs> that's Konami for you. Well then, putting that matter to rest for now. I've already said so before, but I was pretty started this morning, you know. How you can get into your brother's bed without even thinking is beyond me. Now you're just acting defiant. <laughs> even from the point of view as siblings, it's not like she did anything wrong. So it's kind of hard to scold her for it. For that reason, I'll try to scold her from a different direction. Different perspective. To begin with, did you finish your homework? I said yesterday that you have to do that before you could sleep in my bed, didn't I? Okay, you can't scold her now. I'm at a loss as to whether I should praise you or to simply feel dumbfounded. About 60% of my feelings correspond to the latter though. Dumbfounded. <laughs> uh, uh, right. Alright, alright, hope it's Alright, I'll praise you. Ah. Uh, Okay, you did great. Oh, this is a face I've never seen before from Konami. Looks like a cat face. <laughs> I mean, there's been quite a number of cat faces, namely from now, from Hanako, and then a bit from An, and now Konami. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a cat face, you know. As I gently pat her head, she partly closes her eyes and smiles, indicating how greatly. She uh, how great she enjoys it, or how greatly she enjoys it, okay? Well, I, I guess you can, just be careful, you know, without being too careful, of course. With me? Oh, don't you treat me like that. <laughs> no, I don't mind at all, but you want to stay in my room the whole day? Alright, wherever I am, alright. Wherever I am. Hey. Oh, uh, Konami softly clings to my body. Oh, what now? What is it now? What? A moment later, Konami's sweet scent tickles my nostrils. Hey, hey Konami! Uh, you mean what? Uh, on, jumping on top of me? <laughs> uh, that may be true, but that doesn't mean... Bearing her face in my chest, she takes a deep breath. <laughs> she, you, you're smelling me? You too? Yeah? <laughs> yeah, it's your scent. Why would, it, why would you smell smelly though? No, don't worry. Actually, another feeling is surfacing as well, yeah, the urge to do it. But it may lead to an escalation of this situation, so I keep it to myself. <sighs> Your Nissan energy gauge? What kind of energy is that supposed to be? Okay. Ah, uh, alright, that's the first I've heard. <laughs> but that's only because you're in love with me, right? Being a little sister sure seems tough. Whoa, what are you trying to do, Konami? You want to give me your little sister energy? What are you going to do? I see. Even without her declaring that, I recently feel like my body is gradually turning into that kind of biological structure. <laughs> ne, 
You want to kiss me? Um, sure. Some time ago on the way to school, who was it who didn't ask for permission to do that? <laughs> oh, you mean when? Uh, some time ago, you were young and naive, but that's some time ago. That was merely a month ago. So you want to kiss me on the lips now? Konami Oh, Konami's face draws near, shortening the distance between us to mere millimeters. As a result, my lungs are flooded with a sweet scent and... Oh, here we go, the kisu. Just when our lips are about to touch... God damn it, how he... <laughs> Always the interrupter! Sorry, it seems Aoi san is calling for me. Don't worry, we'll, we'll do it eventually. Don't worry, we have our moment. Disappointedly, Konami distances herself from, from me. If Aoi san hadn't called out to me just now, would we have left it at just a kiss? Or would we have gone beyond that? <coughs> Konami, you should stay quiet. Yeah, why is it? I opened the door while answering the voice that is calling from downstairs. Oh, from downstairs, good thing. Feeling a bit sorry for leaving Konami, who displays a downhearted expression behind, I leave the room. After dealing with what Aoi-san asked of me, I found my bed occupied by Tina and Konami upon my return. You, you two are going to sleep with me again? <laughs> but it's Monday tomorrow. Seeing no traces of her sad expression from a short while ago, she was already back to her usual self. Since Tina was also there, I tried to drive what happened between us earlier into a corner of my mind while we spent our time talking and lazing around. Eventually, dinner time arrived. Phew! Phew! Having taken my bath after dinner, I am now ready to go to sleep. But not before. <laughs> As for Aoi san and Tina, despite the fact that both of them have slept more than usual today, they got sleepy and quickly went to bed. Right, here's our chansu. Our chansu. <laughs> Konami. As I raise my eyes, before me stands Konami, who has already taken her bath. Yeah, we have already taken her bath, and you know what's next. I hope so. <laughs> I mean, I think this is the moment we've all been waiting for, I guess, you know. <laughs> her faintly flushed cheeks have a captivating appeal, even though this is not right. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. What is it? Is there something you want from with me? Um, okay. Well, sure, I don't mind. Does she want to play a game of shogi? Oh, <laughs> oh. I'm pretty sure I know why. <laughs> I know why, Konami. Do you guys? <laughs> In response to that question, the passion I've driven away into a corner of my mind momentarily resurfaces. However, I, un I answer while pretending that I didn't notice. For a game of shogi, yeah, just pretend. Mm -hmm. Mm. With these words, Konami positions herself in front of the door. Um, you're gonna lock it, Konami. Yeah. <laughs> then just a moment after, I thought I heard the sound of her door being locked. Hey, why are you? Oh no, she's going to jump onto me. Oh, there we go, here we go. Continue from, what, from where we left off. <laughs> she leaps into my chest and presses her lips on mine. <laughs> okay, now it's, it's more natural already. I mean, the, the thing about when uh, Konami first did it, so, not say did it, but called, sort of like, you no know, taste the thing. You know, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, you know, you know, taste the thing. Yeah, that was really sudden. But now, gonna now it's starting to become more and more natural for Yuma. 
I guess. Co Kona. She entwines her tongue around mine to the extent that it's hard to breathe. A passionate French kiss. Okay. Very, very, very passionate kiss. It's my first kiss, but the same should be true for Konami. And yet her tongue violates my oral cavity as if the floodgates had opened for all the unfulfilled desires that have piled up until now. <laughs> Probably in order to breathe, Konami finally releases my lips. What's with you, Konami? She can't take it anymore. She just has to kiss you. Oh, oh, Konami! <laughs> Before answering my question, she once again violently presses her lips against my arrr, roughly. Yeah, I just remember that. I know I said this, I kind of said this before, but yeah, now told her to like consult her, right, when she's having this kind of, you know, feelings of love for her brother. But yeah, she totally forgot about that. <laughs> she doesn't care. Ah, oh. it feels like through this kiss, Konami's frantic emotions flow right into me. Ko Konami. Well, now you've done it, Konami. We cannot stop here. <laughs> Seriously, we cannot stop here. Now you've done it. Why did you do that all of a sudden? Yeah, it's not sudden. It's definitely not sudden for Konami. I don't know what would have happened back then if Aoi-san hadn't had caught for me. I've had it on my mind this whole time, but it seems like the same goes for Konami. <coughs> Konami. Yeah, she really can't control her feelings. I see. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, 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 but anyway, it's fine being a loot sister, you know. I mean, you're taking the initiative. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I think. Oh, preventing her from continuing any further. This time, I seal her lips. So you go, Konami. I mean, you go, Yuma. Okay. Konami. <laughs> With an intensity that doesn't lose to Konami's just now, I wildly, passionately indulge in her lips. Thereupon, matching the movement of my tongue, Konami also gingerly entwines her tongue. <laughs> Konami. <laughs> She's also sort of like crying right there. The sound of both our saliva mixing together resounds throughout the room. Feel good too. <laughs> Your breathing growing rough, we continue to kiss. Oh, 
コナミ The moment feel what? The moment I feel her body twitch slightly, she finally lets go of my lips. I'm so, I'm so bored. Yeah, I can't take it anymore either. <sighs> You're the one who came at me first, weren't you? <laughs> Konami, who has let go of me, heads towards the bed. All right, we're going to the next stage. All right, we're really doing it now. <laughs> yeah. Are we going to the next stage? <laughs> Me too. As I thought. So that was your first kiss? In the lips? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Is that alright with you? I didn't kiss with anyone on the lips before, and much less did I ever French kiss. <laughs> well, regarding that, I also took your first time, didn't I? Yeah, it's definitely not written number. <laughs> Even if you told me to return it, that would be impossible anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> my other first time. <laughs> We're really going to do it. You mean. You'll regret it. You sure, girl? Okay, it's now or never. <laughs> it's now or never. Is this really alright? Well, it's not a route if if it doesn't have this, right? It won't be Konami's route without this. So, alright, here we go. Here we go. After taking off my clothes, I sit down on the bed. While we are embracing each other, okay. In order to fulfill that request, I place Konami on my lap. It's beautiful. I mean, your body. Well, here we go. First time ever. First time ever. <laughs> First time ever, indeed. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't think you can say it was countless times. But either way, touching each other like this makes me feel all the more so. Very manly. <laughs> Thank you. It's definitely very manly. You think so? Splendid thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, splendid thing. <laughs> uh, uh, you aren't any, any better than me, you know, are you now? <laughs> You'd be strange if I didn't notice, considering how wet you are. You know, down somewhere, you know, somewhere. Um, okay. <laughs> I see. Judging by this state, it seems fine to put it in already. Alright, <laughs> is this a good place to stop? Yeah, so we know what's gonna go... Kind of know what's gonna go down from here, but... As usual, I will summarize 
what happens here. So, <laughs> yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that was a really quick one. So, it's basically, you know, the standard procedure. So, they basically did it. So, you know, uh, it started with basically, you know, Konami just inserting it, right? So, and, you know, Yuma feels like his whole waist is about to be torn off. Then after that, because it is really painful for Konami, right? So, what Yuma thought of doing was to try to relieve her a bit of that pain by tasting her flower bud. <laughs> yes, so, you know, so they continue doing that, you know? Konami shaking her hips and Yuma, you know, tasting the butt. Yeah, so both enjoying the moment and eventually. But when Yuma actually does that, I taste the flower butt. Uh, she yelps and jumps by the surprise of that. Okay, so okay, they continue doing it. Then eventually, both of them confess their lo love. Yeah, confess their love for each other. So, yep, yeah, they basically did it and they finally. Yuma has finally admitted that he's in love with her. So yeah, and Konami is relieved that the first time went smoothly, but after that, it's kind of an embarrassing thing happened because after the after the the act, right? It, uh, she was re really relieved, so she well, let's just say she went. To, uh, she didn't go to the toilet, but you know what I mean. You read it, <laughs> yes. So yeah, then after that, this is what happens here. Right after, yeah. They did it, so <laughs> that so that's basically what happened. So let's continue from here, yeah. Just then her strength leaves her body and she collapses on the bed like a marionette whose strings were cut. Uh, are you alright, Konami? <laughs> no worry. I mean you did well for the first time. Yeah, seems so. I throw a quick glance at my quick glance at my body and the sheets that are drenched in, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. I'll handle all the cleanup. Um, you ask me to drink your pee? What? <laughs> uh, that's obviously asking too much. Even though she had, she has just had her first experience, Konami is just like always, still able to joke around. <laughs> tease, tease Yuma. Feeling relief in response to that, I began to clean everything with tissues and a towel. Alright. 30 minutes after our first sexual experience. Well, thank goodness. Sorry for having you help me in the end as well. Pee and blood. But basically we have to change the shit, right? Because, yeah. That's not true, right? Yeah. <laughs> yep, that too. <laughs> You're saying this way too directly. <laughs> Don't lose that kind of reservation. That's not appropriate for a girl your age. Well, she's going to become a woman though. <laughs> well, I do. <laughs> it's not a question of whether I get a rose by it. Uh, <laughs> my child beat it. Seems she wants me to answer that no matter what. I do. <coughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's alright. There will still be some margin of safety if she said it at the student council. But if she said it in front of her classmates, I wouldn't be able to cover for her at all. Yeah, it's really embarrassing. About what you said. You know, about the things directly or something like that, you know, those sex things. Huh? What do you mean? And that's fine. <laughs> huh? 
Well, I guess it's true that it might be a little early for a couple that just had their first sexual experience to say stuff like that. <laughs> ah, okay, that's what you mean. Well, oh, well, yes, of course, as long as we don't get caught. <laughs> ah, I see. I understand where what she's getting at now. You don't remember what I said while we were doing it? It seems she doesn't remember. And I'll say it once again. Listen well. Having to say it again, I'm getting quite nervous. However, since it wasn't conveyed to her properly, I have to clearly say it one more time. I inhale some air, then inform Konami. I love you, yes. We heard that. Uh, well, you guys didn't hear the confession. I did. Yeah, they were confessing to each other. Yuma finally said, I love you too, to Konami, so it's official. <laughs> yeah. But now he said it one more time. Yep. He did tell you that he loves you, you know? I think you didn't hear it earlier. I love you. As a woman. Yep, it, it took a, it took our their, their first sexual experience for Yuma to finally say I love you. <laughs> I don't want to have a time limited relationship with you. Or do you not want to? <laughs> oh, it was a bit late, but the answer I finally gave her led to a truly simple outcome. Ah, oh, now it's official. But someone's gonna go down from here! Oh no... Mm. Uh oh... Uh oh... Is this, isn't this the next day? Because I remember it was May 12, right? Now it's May 13, Monday. And I always trying to call Yuma-kun, but... Yuma's in Konami's room, right? Uh oh... Mm. Ah, uh, oh, thank god, he's still in his bed. I hear a familiar voice right next to me. Okay, she's right in front of me. Okay, are we... sun? Finally, I get a good grasp on my consciousness, and upon slightly opening my eyes, I find Aoi san standing right before me. A look at the clock in my room informs me that it's just before my alarm rings. Oh, thanks for waking me up. Yeah, more or less. While rubbing my still blurry eyes, I force my body to wake up. Oh. Good morning, Awi-san. Ohayo. Sorry for being so slow to wake up today. Yeah, I was up pretty late doing some stuff. <laughs> no, that's not. Oh no. <laughs> uh, mm. Okay, give me a sec. <laughs> yes, here we go. At that point, I remember what transpired between Konami and me last night. That's right. Yesterday, Konami and I had our first... Uh, yeah. Yes, I'm fine, Konami. Oh, we don't worry. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm alright. I'm completely awake now. Um, uh oh. You're trying to get something? Um, suddenly bring her face close, she intends to kiss me on the cheek like she always does, but... Uh! <laughs> At that moment, Konami's face flashes through my mind and I decisively push Aoi-san's shoulders away, separating her from me yet. Because it seems like I'll be betraying Konami if I, if I let Aoi kiss me, so... Nope, don't kiss me! <laughs> um, sorry, it's by reflex. <laughs> Um, you know, I... Just when I become flustered, the alarm on my cell phone starts to ring. I'll switch it off. 
saying that in a low voice, I switch off the alarm. Now I'm always gonna get suspicious, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't need you anymore. No, that's a very harsh thing to say. Uh, I, I what? Rebellious? Maybe? <laughs> huh? Uh, are we some? Why are you? <laughs> well, it's at least better for Aoi san to get this misunderstanding than, than you know, than our, than learning about our, our, my uh, Yuma's relationship with Konami. Ah, uh, no, that's not it. No, um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because uh, you are saying no. Um, <laughs> what am I doing? It's nothing more than family bonding, right? There should be no reason to weirdly refuse that. No, it's just because you're thinking about Konami, right? What you did to her. I don't hate it, Aoi-san. Um, go ahead. <laughs> the sudden change of expression. As I submit my cheek to her, she instantly becomes happy. Hey, Tina, what? Tina, you better keep your promise like I said before. Tina, don't tell me she heard our exchange just now. Tina, why do you have to say he's precious person? What are you talking about? Shh! Tina! <laughs> Well, um, it's true that Konami crossed my mind, but I gotta say she's unexpectedly sharp, that Tina. Yeah. Hmm. It's going to get her Aoi even more suspicious because when she said precious person, then that will make Aoi think that he has gotten a girlfriend or something like that, you know? Hmm, but that's a surprise. Aoi seems acceptant. Seems easily. Yeah, seems to accept it pretty easily. Unlike Yan's route. Hmm. Yeah, finally. <laughs> I've talked with Konami about that. Right now, we're only at a stage where we've just decided to be a real couple. When we have built up the determination to continue our relationship forever, at that time we'll tell Aoi san about it. Probably in a year or two, but I think she, she'll find out uh, much sooner than that. So, I can't tell you just yet, but I'll definitely introduce her to you soon. She doesn't seem surprised, you know, like shocked, unlike in Aunt's route. Which is hmm, interesting. I guess she must feel the loneliness of her son growing up and slowly starting to walk his own path. I'm compelled to think so because there is a tinge of sadness mixed in uh, with her smiling countenance as she heads towards the door. Um, thank you, Aoi. <laughs> you seem to accept it pretty easily, but okay. Yeah, thank you. Me? Okay, I'm more than happy to. <laughs> Phew. Well, at least that kind of saved me, so thank you, Tina. Yeah. But how did you know what I've been thinking? She's a soul reaper. God damn it, so you also see us do it? <laughs> I see. Hey? Didn't she just say something really disturbing? Hey Tina, don't tell me you saw what we did just yesterday. God damn it! 
Seriously, I have no words. Why you, are you even spying on me? God damn it. <laughs> Tina, do you understand what privacy means? <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> but that doesn't change the fact that you saw it. <laughs> it seems the locked door doesn't make for an obstacle to Soul Reaper. I think I already told you before. But don't pick at this kind of stuff. No! Understand what privacy means! That's right, you can't! <laughs> it's not a pity! You, you're not supposed to be spying! But it seems Tina also has an interest in sex. Yeah, and we're gonna find that out in her route. <laughs> well, even if she does, I don't want her to pick up at us either way. Hmm. Yeah, kind of feels kind of sad for Aoi, you know, <laughs> kind of pity her. Yeah, because his girlfriend is actually, you know, his sister, so. Wait, is she actually is suspecting that his girlfriend is Konami? Oh my god, seriously now. She's actually suspecting that. Oh no. God damn it, she smelled Konami chan's sand on Yuma. So she's actually starting to suspect that they actually had have a relationship. But she, she doesn't want to accept it. Yeah. She, she doesn't want to believe that's the case. <laughs> I'm sorry, Aoi. <laughs> I'm really sorry. 